Archaeologists frequently recover undiscovered artifacts with information about the Earth's origin and history. Whenever they do this, another piece to the all-round portrait of the history of humanity is added. In addition, several subjects from the past assist the experts in understanding the living world of different civilizations, some of which have disappeared for a long time. But not all archaeologists successfully find evidence that partakes in expanding and untying the historical mysteries of our people. Rather, some strange artifacts also bring practically unsolvable puzzles to the experts. These are usually absurd or even problematic objects whose purpose, narrative, or lineage is a real paradox. So let's dive into the video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. Lead Sarcophagus Found in Granada Archaeologists were surprised to find something significant beneath a building in Granada, located in the southern Spanish region of Andalusia. They were, after all, just finishing a standard prospect of the Vilamina building, which is required for any planned work within the city to rule out the existence of ancient remains. Nevertheless, the survey proceeded as planned. They discovered a few relics from the Christian and Muslim eras, but nothing significant. However, they decided to delve a little deeper before completing the work. That's when they discovered a Roman grave covered in sandstone and mud two and a half meters below ground. Rodriguez, the archaeologist in charge of the excavation, believes the sarcophagus dated from the 2nd or 3rd century AD when lead sarcophagi were uncommon. In addition, they were expensive and difficult to obtain in Andalusia because the industry existed in Cordoba, around 200 kilometers away. The main attraction of this type of sarcophagus is that lead conserves extremely well, so if everything goes as planned, there will be a body, individual valuables, and textiles in good condition inside allowing the team to explore a lot about the burial ritual. The sarcophagus was later moved to the Granada Archaeological and Ethnological Museum. It'll stay there until researchers decide how to handle the opening. Then a multidisciplinary team of physical anthropologists, restorers, and archaeologists will attend the exciting reveal. Once opened, the body will be taken to Granada University's Forensic Anthropology Laboratory, where the sarcophagus and its contents will be studied at the museum, according to Rodriguez. In Roman times, the historic center of Granada was a rural area on the city's outskirts, with the Albaycin district serving as the true epicenter. However, there was something unique about the area. The Daro River ran through it. The river stopped flowing underground in this part of town more than a century ago when it was buried underground. This is where the sarcophagus was discovered. According to Rodriguez, this area on the Daro River's banks was used to grow and harvest crops. It was not a cemetery, but because of the Daro River, it had a unique meaning as a funeral area. A similar lead sarcophagus was also discovered in 1902, but it was looted by the workers who discovered it before it was discovered by researchers, who only discovered some bones. The lead sarcophagus discovered beneath the Villamina building near Granada Cathedral weighs between 300 and 350 kilograms, and has the same dimensions as a traditional coffin, 1.97 meters long and 40 centimeters high. However, it's narrower at the head than at the foot. The outside of the sarcophagus has already provided many insights to researchers, and the inside is expected to provide even more when it's opened in a few weeks. Scotland's 5,000-year-old carved stone balls are shrouded in mystery. Hundreds of intricately carved stone balls from prehistoric Scotland were discovered over some centuries, but their function is unknown. More than 500 stone balls have been discovered, most of which are too small to fit neatly into the palm. Instead, they've been shaped so that several knobs protrude from the surface, and some of them have beautiful, intricate patterns incised into them. The carvings are so intricate that early archaeologists thought they couldn't have been made with flint tools, so they dated them later. But we know they were carved with flint and date from around 3200 BC to 2500 BC when people in Scotland were leaving their lives as hunters and settling into life in farming communities. What were they used for? Although there is no definitive evidence to determine their function, many people have speculated on the stone's function. Some believe they are part of a primitive scale weighing system, but others argue that their weights differ from practical ones. They were supposedly used to weigh fishing nets or as bearings to move large rocks, but why would they be so intricately carved? According to Australian author Lynn Kelly, the stone balls were memory devices that could have been used as mnemonic aids to the oral history of the time, similar to how Australian Aboriginal cultures use rock art in their surroundings. Others have speculated that they were used as weapons, either attached to a wooden handle or thrown. However, most of these stones show no sign of the type of damage that would be expected on a weapon. It's probably best to think of them as ceremonial or stylized weapon, Hugo Anderson Weimark, curator of the National Museum Scotland, says. 
things that could inflict damage if they wanted to use them and may have been used in some circumstances, but are more likely objects that represent the status or power of the individual who possessed them in that community. Prehistoric Stone Balls in 3D Anderson Weimar created 3D images of the balls to understand the stones better and make them more accessible to the public. He used photogrammetry to create very detailed 3D renderings of 60 carved stone balls by taking hundreds of 2D images from every angle. The publicly available images revealed previously unseen details about the stone balls. The 3D images also revealed that some stones had changed over time, possibly across generations. It's unclear what that could mean, but Anderson Weimark believes it opens up other possibilities about the ball's purpose and significance to people of the time. While a few balls were discovered in Ireland and Northern England, one even made its way to Norway, the rest were discovered in Scotland, primarily in Aberdeenshire. Five were discovered at Scarabray, a remarkably preserved Neolithic settlement in the Orkney Islands off Scotland's northern coast. According to the museum, the patterns on the Towie Ball are sacred symbols similar to those found in an Irish passage grave. However, according to Anderson Weimark, the design similarities raise interesting questions about the relationships between these locations. Discovery of Mysterious 4,000-Year-Old Carved Stones That Appeared Like Humans On the Orkneys mainland, an archipelago off the Scotland coast, archaeologists discovered nine mysterious stone-carved objects scattered around an ancient hearth. The stones, thought to be 4,000 years old, resemble human figures with large bodies, distinct necks, and heads. The stones, which stood about 1.6 feet or half meter tall, were discovered inside a structure that included three cysts, a type of box-shaped burial structure, two hearts, and a partial ring of holes cremated with broken stones. Archaeologists discovered the structures in Finstown while investigating an area designated for an electrical substation. They discovered a single stone structure inside one of the hearths called Finstown Fella. They discovered eight more stone figures inside the same hearth later on. The building's purpose is unknown, but the stone-carved objects were important enough to be included in the structure of one of the hearts and the foundation for the standing stones. It's also unclear whether the stone figures, which are thought to date back to 2000 BC, were designed to resemble humans or were shaped that way for another reason. According to the BBC, they were carved into the familiar shape of a head, shoulders, and body using pecking, involving chipping the stone with a pointed tool. Some are shaped like human bodies, while others are flat and resemble upright stones used as weights. It's highly rare to discover representations of people in prehistoric Orkney, and when they're found, they are individual or in small groups, said Colin Richard of the Islands Archaeology Institute and the University of the Highlands in a statement. It's very exciting to find nine figurines within one structure, if they're figurines. The researchers also discovered evidence that ancient people worked the land 4,000 years ago. In a nearby trench, they discovered long crisscrossing marks, likely made by ards or prehistoric plows. So what do you think of these suspicious discoveries? Let us know in the comments below and subscribe for more.